And Woking try to keep the move going once again. Adi Muller tries to feed it forward for Newton. He was tackled, but it came back here now to Cowan Hall. Tries to send it forward, but his pass was picked off. It comes back to Jay Davis. Woking still retaining possession halfway inside. He says, oh, all three were trying to be a good offside. It's pulled across. It's an opportunity. It's knocked in the back of the net. And it's Wayne Gray sliding across to just knock it in, possibly off his shin. But Woking have taken the lead in the opening minute and a half here of the second half. So Woking have the goal they wanted. It's Wayne Gray. It's Woking 1, Eastley nil. What a move there by Woking and Wayne Gray. You know, Woking have been lucky, really, in this half. In the last 15 minutes, it's really been all Eastley. It will be a corner to the final opportunity, the last attack of the game. It's going to be taken quickly by Eastley. They've taken it short, trying to seize up their man. Adam Newton tries to come in and win the ball. Newton still wrestling after it. Referee blows the final whistle. There it is. It's been hard, hard work for the Cards, but they have got three points at home against EC. They will remain top of the table. Perhaps they can pull away a little bit from Welling United, but that unbeaten run at home, it continues. They've been unbeaten at home all season long. They're unbeaten now in their last 12 league games, and Woking, they made it hard, Morsey, but they finally got there in the end. That is definitely what I would call a well earned three. Three points. Phew! <laughs> I don't want to witness too many home performances like that, really. In the last 15 minutes, it was all Eastley. I think Woking were guilty of defending too deep. I think they were guilty of not retaining possession. And they were guilty, of really, of squandering possession when they were in decent position. As a result, they were very much hanging on at the end there. And you've got to give Eastley a lot of credit today, I think. Uh, you know, other sides might have capitulated when Woking took the lead very early on in the second half. But it didn't knock their spirit and they kept fighting. And as I say, certainly they were the better side at the end there. Right into the non-league we go. Woking are now six points clear at the top of Blue Square South after another victory today. They beat Eastley 1-0 at the Kingfield. And John Howick's been speaking to the Cards boss, Gary Hill. Gary, definitely a hard-fought three points at home. They made it very hard for us today, Eastley. We knew that before the game and we had some uh, good uh, you know, battles with them in the past. But today, uh, very pleased with the three points. And uh, it took a while to finally break them down and get through. Wayne Gray getting the solitary goal and uh, he struggled to find his feet a little bit in front of goal. But uh, the, the goal he took today was very very well done and good work by Ben Smith. Ben Smith done very well. I think uh, I think Jay Davis put the ball behind him into space, whipped across the box. And I'm um, pleased to say that, you know, Wayne Gray's got on the end of it. Very important goal straight after the start of the second half, of course. And uh, please get the three points. Alan Inns got uh, voted man of the match. He was very, very good at the back four, as was Aaron Howe, whose uh, his, his safe hands as command of the area was superb this afternoon. Yeah, I think Alan Inns was immense, and all credit to him, you know, I had a little word with him before the game today that I felt that in the last 20 minutes of games recently, uh, he hasn't quite been, you know, the presence what I wanted him to be, but all credit to him today, I thought the uh, last 20 minutes and even more so, you know, you look at the big lad Tom Jordan, and he set play from attack and he's going to be an handful, and I thought uh, Alan Inns and, and the back line, you know, it was desperate, it was hard at times, but we defended very, very well, and, uh, you know, at the end of the day, I thought Dale Bins has done well, he's gone to left back, because we didn't have a left back here today, Adam Doyle couldn't play today, suspended. Then we had Derek Duncan out injured and Joe McNerney injured. So we're very, very thin in respect to that area today. But Dale Bins has gone at the left back and I'm pleased to say he's done very well. There seemed to be a, a slight disagreement between yourself and Ian Baird and the referee, which uh, seemed to stop playing on a, a few occasions. Can you shed any light over, over what, you, what was discussed there? Uh, no, I think it's the same as anything. Like, you know, of course, you're going to get managers at all levels of football. And, I, and we've seen the highest level, you know, you're shouting out things to your players and he's shouting out things to his players and then you exchange words. But no, nothing in respect of what she's no different from anywhere else, to be honest with you. And uh, that unbeaten run carries on, and also with, yep. with Welling drawing at home this afternoon, you've now gone six points clear. It must be a great feeling to uh, look at that table and see yourself uh, six points clear of the next best team. Well, being fair, I didn't know that result, but uh, of course, you know, we've got to do our own job, and I know it's a cliche that everybody says, but, you know, we've got our three points today, and of course, we're pleased to get them three points, and we'll continue on from there. That's Gary Hill, the Cards boss there. Six points clear. Congratulations to Woking. Let's get some more reaction from the uh, Woking game. Ben Smith on loan from Crawley was part of the team that won 1-0 this afternoon uh, at home to Eastleigh and he's been speaking to John Howick. Ben you've, you've joined on loan from uh, Crawley Town and uh, it's a deal that seems to have worked out quite well for both parties and uh, today your home debut at Kingfield against Eastleigh and uh, you set up the uh, winning goal. Yeah um, I managed to yeah get free which one of the few times that I did made a bit of space for myself and, and cross I was aiming for Moses really but um, he missed it but luckily Wayne is a poacher and managed to just slide in the back stick. 
How are you? Uh, how are you finding it since uh, coming across to Oakham? Because you've you've played under Gary Hill before, of course, at, at Weymouth, and uh, weren't quite getting the games under Steve Evans. So, did it make sense to come here and link up with your old manager? Yeah, well, I've, uh, like you say, I played with uh, Gary for a, for a year, sort of about five years ago. I really enjoyed my time. I was at a spell in my career where things weren't really going great, and he managed to sort of rejuvenate me. And obviously, I had a really good season at Crawley last year, getting promoted, played a lot of games, really enjoyed it, good cut run. But this year, I haven't played as much as I'd like, and obviously, at my age, I want to play every week. And like you say, it's, sometimes it's better the devil you know. You know, I've worked with the calf before, know him well, know he works, he knows how I work and um, yeah that was a sort of a, a big attraction of me to come here and, and get some games and sort of take it from there. Was that the deciding decision because you, you had played of course at conference premier sides on loan, did yeah. it make sense then to, to say well if I go here I know Gary, I, I know how, how the system can work, maybe it's more beneficial for me to go down to the conference but south and play? I'd be lying if I said I would rather play in a conference having a conference premier obviously I'd rather play in a conference premier I'd have spelled Kevin but they've had some well publicised sort of money trouble so that was never really an option but at my age I don't really want to move away from my base anymore so you know going to a northern club is not really an option and obviously that limits your opportunities because one you need to find a club that that wants you and then they need to have to afford you and, and if there's only sort of seven or eight of them then that that makes it a bit difficult but I knew I've known Gary for a long time you know um, always kept in touch with him and and he mentioned about me coming here and and that's great for me you know obviously ideally I would like to play in the conference but if you can't the next best thing is the team top in the conference south isn't it? <laughs> it certainly is that's Ben Smith lovely lad part of a, a team that won 1-0 at home to Eastleigh.